I'll be straight up with you. I don't like doing squats. All right. It, it's taxing. It's challenging. Um, it's not my thing, but I know I need to do it because I do not want to be that guy uh, with a big upper body and small legs looking like um, um, you ever you ever play that old video game? I think it's called Golden Axe. And they would they they, they will jump on dinosaurs. Uh, I feel like that's what it's going to look like. I'm this big person sitting on a big dinosaur, a big upper body and little teeny tiny T-Rex legs. Right. I don't want to do that. So um, so I do believe in working out legs, but it's, it's challenging. It's hard. Uh, but I believe, man, just so many aspects in life just really gives you uh, many ways uh, just to glean and learn from and squat just to exercise is hard. Listen, there's no way around it. It's not easy. You're going to have to push the weight. If you want it, all the weight on your shoulder, you're going to have to stand up. And I just feel like there's many people that this literally is what you choose to do every day. And I think that's a feat of strength. Whether there's a squat bar on your back or not, or for my case up front, uh, whether whether or not it's the fact that you know that your life is heavy, it, there's weight on you, but you are making the conscious, conscious, conscious and consistent decision to get out of bed, to put your feet on the ground, uh, to clock it into that work and, and to and to and to make a cho choice to crush the day. And I think. Man, we that's one of the aspects of life. Just, that's the reality of many people where you're in a hard place. You're in a hard moment. And I just wanted to take a hat off to you and tell you, man, good job. Man, I'm proud of you. Thank you for choosing, choosing to get out of bed. And I, I just really want to start from just start there. But just because that is sometimes the hardest choice to make. Uh, especially if some of you, if you've been dealing with depression, you're dealing with anxiety, you know what it's like for depression to be that this this hankering, uh, 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 consistent, heavy blanket on your life where it feels like it's just this, this weighted presence that you can't get away from. Uh, that is the constant thing that is on you. And um, and the and it's but you choose you still choose to to wake up. You choose to get out of bed and you choose to go about your day. That's a feat of strength. You know, what makes working out, uh, working out is this understanding that you are using resistant training. You're using time under tension to grow you. And I, once again, I think that just speaks to so much, uh, just in life that we, that's, it is, it's, it's, I feel like life and resistant training is time under tension. And because I think we can grow from anything we can grow from uh, positive experiences in our life. We can go from challenging experiences in our life. We can grow from negative experiences in our life. Uh, we can grow from all of it. And, um, but I think we have to have a mindset of like, what can I learn from this? And how can I, how can I apply what I learned to my life? Right. Um, because everything can be a lesson, right? Everything Excuse me, y'all. Everything can be a lesson and should be a lesson, right? And so that's what just is life, right? It's just learning how to, man, um, just learn from just the negative experiences, the 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 toxic experiences. Learning from those things. I tell you this. Um, I always say that I believe especially meeting people, going to different places and things of that nature. Uh, none of it that I have experienced has been, has been for nothing. There's some individuals that I learned that I, that I've been around where I'm like, man, I'm learning who I want to be like and characteristics I want to be like. And there's some individuals who like you learn who you don't want to be like, but, uh, nothing, nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. <clears throat> Working out is hard and there's really no way around it, but we understand that you get out what you put in and uh, you can't wish your way uh, just into better health. We got to work our way into better health. 
and just a tearing down of muscles, man, just a, the running, the, that point of exhaustion, uh, just to strengthen your cardiovascular uh, uh, strength, your ability to run further and to run longer and to run easier. And all this stuff just takes time. And if we just got to put in the work, I um, can be consistent with it. Um, but I think it's important uh, to know uh, just to do it progressively, right? And so maybe you have never t touched a weight before. Uh, to get up there and to put, try to put five plates in the bar uh, may not be the smartest thing in the world, but you can. But maybe you can start with the bar. What am I saying is I think every single one of us needs to realize that every single dream, every single uh, thing ever achieved started with a notion to try, right? And but this, the, but the seed of this moment to try. The seed is a moment to dare to believe that that you can reach a goal by putting the effort and but just the hardest thing to do is just to muster up the goal to put effort in the muster up. I'm sorry, the, 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 the desire to try, because the reason why I'm saying this, why I make it so hard is that you not only first need to realize to you to persuade yourself, but sometimes a moment when you share your dreams with people, it is hard uh, because you realize that some people may not have the same uh, belief in what you're dreaming about and they may try to kill your dream intentionally or unintentionally and there's plenty of stories but i think about how many benefits how many things we benefit in this world today because someone chose to dream because someone chose to bet on their ability to try what would happen if you do that what would happen if you bet on your ability to try right now where we like, tom like uh, tomorrow i'm flying to speak in michigan right but when that's what, so when I make that statement that I'm here, I'm, I'm, I live in Florida in the Orlando area. And so I'm flying from Orlando all the way to all the way to Detroit, Michigan. And I make this statement and none of you batted an eye. You're like, OK, that's normal. But can you imagine years and years and years and years ago before the Wright brothers and all in the individual, all these other people who came alongside them to help them to build the airplane, things of nature. Can you imagine if they would have when they first shared their dream, they were going to fly all the people who said you're crazy. Can you imagine when they looked at the birds and they saw the birds flap their wings and take flight that they looked to the birds and looked to people and said, hey, we're going to do that one day. And they thought they were crazy. You know, what I mean, they could have give up. They could have given up. They could have said this is stupid. But yet. They dared to bet on their dream. They dared to bet on their try. And I want to encourage you to do that. You know what's how they started, right? They started not with a bunch of capital, not with a bunch of resources. They started building the airplane with what they had, with what they had available, what they had accessible. They started to build the airplane with the used bicycle parts, right? Used bicycle parts. That's what they used to build the first airplane. And then they, when they, and when they feel like they exhausted all the resource and everything they knew, they realized, okay, in order for me to reach this dream, I'm going to have to make a drastic change. So they moved to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, right. Uh, to, 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 to do the testing, the flight. And one of the reasons why I love this story, but one of the reasons why they moved to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina was not just the gust of the wind, the wind gust, but it was also the soft sand. Why is it super important? Because they realized in the pro process of reaching the dream, the process of reaching the goal, the process of, of taking flight failure and getting hitting the ground to stand back up is part of it. They realize that, okay, that, that when they take flight and it doesn't work that first time or that 50th time or that 100th time, it doesn't mean that they failed at the goal. It just means that they realized uh, they, they gain information and they realize what to try next. And I want you to encourage you to do that, that, that I dare you to try to bet on you. Because just maybe, just maybe your consistency and your and your willingness to, to to make a mistake, your willingness to fall forward, your willingness to realize how things should not be done is, is part of the ingredient to success. When you are willing to 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 grasp all of that truth, family, it's a, that's, that's, that's a that's a dangerous person. And you, family, you it. You're going to do this. I, I believe in you. I, I really do believe. I really believe that you're going to do what you put your hand, the heart and your mind to do. You're going to achieve it. But it just takes time and attention. It takes time being in the weight room. It takes some effort. It takes some fight. Right. So let's get back into the set.